In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. St. William of Vercelli, or St. William of Monte Virgine, as uh, our feast, our saint for today, as uh, an abbot, a uh, confessor, a uh, founder of several monasteries. Uh, although not uh, his design, I uh, wanted to be a hermit and lived so for many years, uh, but attracted many followers, as is usually the case. He was born in the town of Vercelli in the year 1085 uh, from a noble family, uh, but ended up being orphaned at a rather early age. Uh, but when he was old enough, uh, which was around 15 years of age, uh, he undertook a pilgrimage to Compostela uh, in order to determine God's will for his life. And this is at a time uh, in, in the 11th century here, 10, you know, 1090, almost 1100, when pilgrimages were very common. Uh, it was the idea in life that all of us are pilgrims and travelers in this life. Our whole lives, from the time we're born until we die, we are pilgrims on our way to our true heavenly home. Uh, that was a very popular sentiment uh, in, in the early Middle Ages there. And so many people would go on a pilgrimage to remind themselves of this fact. We have here no lasting city. We are not to put our hope or our uh, happiness in this life, but to be looking constantly towards the next. And so young William, uh, again, a, a lad of only 14 or 15 years old, undertakes this great pilgrimage to Compostela. Uh, there are three pilgrimages, uh, three very popular pilgrimages at the time. Uh, pilgrimages to Rome, pilgrimages to Jerusalem, and then pilgrimages to Compostela, which is in Spain. It's the northwestern part of Spain. And it's not an easy one. Um, this is actually, Compostela is one of the most famous pilgrimages in, in the world, certainly in Christendom. And uh, uh, it is, the proper name is the uh, Santiago de Compostela. It refers to a great basilica in honor of St. James. Uh, the name James is Iago uh, in, in that language. And so Santiago is, simply means St. James. Uh, de Compostela means field of the stars. And so anybody who undertakes that pilgrimage, uh, it's to St. James of the field of the stars. Uh, just a note on that, it would be good to know where, where these comes from. Is uh, This is St. James the Greater, the apostle, who, uh, after our Lord's death, preached in Spain for many years and then returned to Jerusalem where he was martyred. He was beheaded by Herod Agrippa, and this is recorded in Acts chapter 12. Uh, Herod, seeing it pleased the Jews, put Peter in prison also. Uh, but as the legend goes, and this is, this is what St. Um, William of Vir uh, Vercelli would have known, right? On this pilgrimage to Compostela, this is what he's understanding. This is where he's going. Uh, so he's going to this basilica in honor of St. James. Uh, the pilgrimage uh, ends in northwestern Spain, as I mentioned, because after St. James's death, uh, his uh, body, was, which was accompanied by his disciples, was miraculously translated to Spain, and they sought a suitable place for burial, and they came at last to a field, in, again, in that very northwestern part, and they buried him in an undisclosed location. It actually remained unknown for about the next 750 years or so. Uh, well, after the site uh, was long lost in the early uh, 800s, a hermit named Paleo, uh, living in the region, saw uh, brilliant stars one evening. And they seemed to touch down to the very ground. And so he went to the site where they were, and he found a sepulcher in which he found the remains of St. James. He went to the local bishop uh, who confirmed the miracle, and uh, they built a church and then later a basilica over that site, and thus began one of the uh, oldest uh, pilgrimages in Christendom, uh, next to Jerusalem and Rome. So our saint for today, St. William, uh, after making this pilgrimage at, at a young age, uh, resolved also to make a pilgrimage to Jerusalem. And so he leaves the Basilica of St. James, but on his way uh, endures some hardships and uh, stays in southern Italy. Uh, he ended up um, leaving everything behind, and he went to a deserted mountain, and he began to live there as a hermit. Uh, this was in the region of Campania, where, as we remember actually from this past, uh, earlier in this week, uh, Bishop Paulinus of Nola had been governor over this very region in Campania. And so now St. William is in that same region, uh, becoming a hermit, lived an austere, a disciplined life, and he um, built his hermitage on a place called Monte Virgiliana, uh, or Virgiliana, after the poet Virgil. Uh, but as St. William's fame spread, it became known not as Mont. Uh, Monte Virgil, but Monte Virgine, after the Blessed Virgin. 
Uh, See, William uh, was reputed to have worked several miracles after a number of years, uh, healed a blind man, among others, and his his charity, his kindness, his mildness uh, uh, drew others to him. Actually, a small community uh, began to spring up. And one of the miracles uh, which which contributed to his fame was that he was uh, accustomed to bringing a donkey, which would follow (coughs) follow him into town on the various errands he had to run, getting supplies, whatever. Uh, But one day, a wolf attacked and killed the donkey. St. William reprimanded the wolf and, as punishment, declared that now the wolf had to take the place of the donkey in carrying his burdens. And the wolf did so, and from then on, uh, followed him into town, carried his supplies back and forth from the mountain. Uh, The people at first, of course, were astonished and even terrified at this this wild beast, uh, but was completely docile to St. William. In fact, you'll find that depicted in art and statues, paintings, is uh, St. William with, with a staff um, over, over top of a wolf at his feet. So he um, lives here for some years, a number of years, and eventually a community of monks grows up under him. But, um, you know, there, there, there arose some trouble for St. William, uh, which he bore very well. But it stemmed from the fact that his disciples uh, did not heed the words of today's gospel. Our, our gospel for today is that um, St. Peter says to our Lord, uh, um, we have left behind everything for your sake. What, what reward is to us? And our Lord says, uh, there's not no one who leaves behind a father or mother or brothers or field or lands for my sake who will not receive a hundredfold. And that is why. That is why people leave the world and, and enter into a religious life is they want to give everything to God. Uh, but there's always the danger of looking back, of, of not uh, um, leaving the, behind the plow entirely, uh, but returning to things of the world. And this is what happened to those followers of St. William. They were certainly, we can imagine, sincere at the beginning, uh, but they rebelled against the difficulties and the austerity of the life of St. William. He had a rather a rigorous fast, uh, no meat or eggs or milk or cheese were allowed, uh, very austere. And so they started to begin to cause trouble for St. William. And eventually, uh, just to, to leave things in peace, St. William leaves Monte Virgine, uh, the mountain that uh, had been renamed in his honor. Uh, he leaves behind the um, foundation that had begun, that he had, that he had um, founded. And, and it was because of these, the inability of these monks to live under the rule that they had agreed to live under. Uh, it's that failure of perseverance. Uh, but again, uh, St. Saint William, rather than um, going back on his promise to leave behind everything for Christ, like the monks under him, he doubles down. Not only did he leave everything the first time, he leaves it a second time. And uh, the mountain he'd grown familiar with, the, uh, the, certainly maybe the place that he'd become uh, attached to, it leaves it behind. And he travels instead south to, to Naples, to a different region, where he's given under the protection of a nobleman there. Uh, built a monastery for him, a monastery for him in Salerno, and um, Saint William founded several other monasteries as well until his death in 1142. Uh, so he would have been around what is it, about nearly 60 years of age. Well, we can't forget the uh, the monks there at his foundation. Uh, after Saint William left, they thought they would have the, uh, it easier, uh, but uh, they did not. In fact, they took his. Um, when they attempted to bring back into the monastery against the rule, the meat, the eggs, the cheese that he would not allow them to have, uh, they say that the, the uh, cart carrying these items was struck by lightning and destroyed. And uh, to this divine sign of displeasure was added the usual outcome of, of bad spirituality, and thus it was that the monastery was deserted. Uh, it failed, all the monks left, and fell into ruins. And this shows us that no one can build a foundation other than Christ, other than those who follow Christ. Uh, these monks that joined St. William, their intentions were not pure. They weren't doing it for the right reasons, and, and that's the result. God has established the work, and unless those who are in charge continue the Spirit of God, it, it will fail. Uh, but uh, to, to um, St. William's credit, and this would be a, a great lesson for us in that we just don't know, even though it seems like everything fails, you know, driven out of our home, something we perhaps started, and it seems, why, why did um, we go to all that trouble only to have everything fail? Well, that very mountain uh, was later inhabited by Benedictine monks. And uh, they restored the monastery. They began to live there in, in, in the spirit after him. And in honor of St. William, its original founder, 
instead of wearing the usual black habits as Benedictines do, uh, to this day the monks who inhabit that mountain wear white in honor of St. William. And so uh, a great, um, we could say, lesson there in terms of uh, not just perseverance, but the idea that it is God uh, who gives the growth. It's God who, who uh, will start a good work and who will see it to the end. Uh, whether we see it or not, God will see it and those after us will benefit. Uh, so let us pray today for the intercession of St. William of uh, Vercelli or Monte Virgine and ask for his ability to leave behind those things which hinder us from arriving at our true home, uh, the, heaven, the uh, heaven itself, and with the, with the blessing. God bless you all in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen.